ever felt like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders? You're not alone. We often feel overwhelmed, weighed down by struggles and life storms. In these moments, we might ponder letting God fight our battles. Not an act of surrendering or shying away, this is about understanding our human limitations. Imagine sailing across an expansive ocean, calm and peaceful one moment, stormy and tumultuous the next. During the storm, letting the seasoned captain take the wheel can be our salvation. This is what it means to let God your battles. We aren't always equipped to navigate life's storms. Sometimes the waves are too high. It's in vulnerability that faith can be a lifeline, a beacon of hope. It's about trust, trust in a higher power that can bring calm to your storm. So when the world feels too heavy, remember you have the choice to let God fight your battles. Remember, it's not about giving up, it's about giving it over to a higher power. There was a time in my life where I felt like I was sinking, and then I discovered the power of faith. Picture this. I was in my late twenties, a young man full of dreams and aspirations, yet burdened with the weight of the world. I had just lost my job, my relationship was on the brink of collapse, and my mental health was spiraling out of control. Every day was a battle, a struggle to keep my head above water. I felt like I was in a storm, constantly being tossed and turned by the waves of life with no land in sight. It was during this time that I remember a childhood friend reaching out to me. We hadn't spoken in years, but he had heard about my situation and wanted to lend a hand. He shared with me his own story of struggle and how his faith had helped him through. He introduced me to the concept of letting God fight my battles. At first it was hard for me to grasp. I've always been the type of person who wanted to solve my own problems, to be in control. The idea of surrendering my struggles to a higher power felt alien. But as I sank deeper into despair, I decided to give it a try. I began to pray, to meditate, to seek solace in my faith. As I started to lean on my faith, I noticed a shift. The storms of life were still there, but I was no longer battling them alone. I felt a sense of peace, a calm amidst the chaos. I found strength in surrender, courage in letting go. My circumstances didn't change overnight, but my perspective did. I began to see my struggles not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. I realized that the job I had lost was not the end, but the beginning of a new journey. The relationship that was falling apart was not a failure, but a lesson. My mental health was not a weakness, but a testament to my resilience. And that's when I realized the battle was not mine to fight alone. The concept of giving your battles over to God isn't new. It's been a cornerstone of faith for centuries. Throughout the biblical narrative, we find numerous instances where individuals faced with insurmountable odds chose to surrender their struggles to a higher power, and in doing so discovered strength they never knew they possessed. Let's begin with the story of David and Goliath. A young shepherd boy named David, armed with nothing more than a slingshot and a handful of stones, found himself pitted against Goliath, a giant warrior. Human logic would have deemed David's victory impossible. Yet David stood firm in his faith, declaring, the Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. He gave his battle over to God and remarkably emerged victorious. Now let's consider Moses, a humble shepherd who was tasked with leading the Israelites out of Egypt. Faced with the mighty Pharaoh and his army, Moses could have easily succumbed to fear and doubt. But he chose to trust in God, who parted the Red Sea, allowing the Israelites a path to freedom while swallowing up the pursuing Egyptian soldiers. And then there was Jehoshaphat the king of Judah, who found himself vastly outnumbered by an alliance of enemy armies. Yet instead of despairing, Jehoshaphat prayed, We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. God responded by setting ambushes against the enemy, leading to Jehoshaphat's unlikely victory. These stories aren't just about divine intervention, but also about the profound faith of those who dared to believe in it. They teach us that when we give our battles over to God, we're not abdicating responsibility, but rather we are acknowledging that we don't have to face our struggles alone. In each of these stories, faith wasn't just about believing in God, but also believing that God would fight for them. You might be wondering, how do I let God fight my battles? It's simpler than you might think. The first step is prayer. When you're feeling overwhelmed, when the walls seem to be closing in, 
That's the moment to pause and speak to God. You don't need fancy words or complex sentences. Simply express your fears, your worries, your hopes. Remember, God knows your heart even before you speak. Next, immerse yourself in scripture. The Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom and guidance. It's filled with stories of ordinary people who faced extraordinary challenges and through their faith, they overcame. Take the story of David and Goliath, for instance. A young shepherd boy armed only with a sling and his faith in God defeats a giant warrior. When you read these stories, you'll realize that you're not alone in your battles. You're part of a grand narrative of faith and victory. Another practical step is to seek support from a faith community. This could be a local church, a Bible study group, or even an online forum. In these spaces, you can share your struggles, receive encouragement, and learn from others' experiences. Remember, God often works through people. So don't hesitate to reach out and connect and finally surrender. This is perhaps the most challenging step of all. Surrendering means letting go of control, trusting that God has a plan for your life and believing that he will fight your battles. It's not about passivity, but about active trust. It's about stepping back and saying, God, I trust you to lead the way. This journey won't always be easy. There will be times when your faith is tested, when you feel like giving up. But remember, God is with you in the storm. He is your refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. So take heart, pray, immerse yourself in scripture, seek community and surrender your battles to God. Because with him by your side, victory is assured. Remember, faith is a journey, not a destination. We've covered a lot today. But the key takeaway is this. You don't have to face your battles alone. This concept, as we've explored, isn't about surrendering or admitting defeat. Quite the contrary, it's about acknowledging that there's a higher power, a divine force that's ready and willing to be your ally in every struggle you encounter. We journeyed through personal experiences, those intimate moments when the weight of the world seemed too heavy to bear. Yet, through it all, a glimmer of hope emerged in the form of divine intervention. It's those instances when we feel most vulnerable that we often experience the most profound moments of grace and support. We also delved into the rich tapestry of biblical examples, where time and again individuals faced insurmountable odds, only to find victory through their unwavering faith. From David's triumph over Goliath to Moses, leading his people out of Egypt, these stories serve as powerful reminders that when we let God fight our battles, miracles can happen. Then we explored the practical aspects of how to let God fight your battles. It's not about sitting back and doing nothing. It's about prayer, faith, and action. It's about aligning your will with God's will and understanding that sometimes the best course of action is to stand still and let God move. So as we wrap up this discussion, remember that you're never alone in your struggles. There's a divine ally waiting to assist you. Letting God fight your battles is about trust, faith, and patience. It's about understanding that you're part of a grander scheme, a larger story where every battle has a purpose and every struggle is a stepping stone towards greater strength and wisdom. May you find peace in knowing that your battles are not yours alone to fight. Take care and keep the faith.